In this video, let us see how we can use the transaction PHCG role DIST to distribute roles and authorization defaults in multiple target systems. So this program, this transaction uses the download and upload functions from uh, PFCG and SU24 for uh, role and authorization uh, defaults uh, data distribution. So apart from using SC09 and C10 to create a transport and uh, move the roles from one system to another system, you can also download the roles from the development system and then upload that role into some other system if you think if you want that role or roles uh, to be created or used in the other other systems other environments uh, provided uh, the you know the applicant application components and the authorization objects and the fields used in the roles are uh, largely identical in the in uh, the source system as well as the target systems so especially you know you could do that with the basis roles or security roles or any, any kind of technical roles and if the source and the target systems themselves are identical you can basically even download and upload the other roles you know the functional roles uh, from a development system into let's say a QS system okay so PFCG role dist uh, transaction uh, uses the functionality of download and upload functionality from PFCG and SU24 uh, to do the role, role and authorization defaults uh, distribution okay so along with that you also have so when you download and upload the role right from PFCG for example in the target system you again have to generate the profiles and do the user comparisons and all that so this tool this program has an automatic option to generate the profiles in the target system okay so there are some some of these things you know that you have uh, that this tool does okay and uh, the only thing you need to keep you know, keep in mind is that you don't use this particular program, this transaction, uh, to distribute roles in a, into a production system. Okay, as uh, the dual control principle is not supported in this case. Okay, so but before you use this program to upload uh, to distribute the role from our S4H system to let's say our TRS system we need to do some configuration steps okay so to configure the system to configure this program this tool let's say okay so you click on this configuration button and there are two three things that you need to set this uh, you know set this up with okay one thing is you need to do in the target systems you have to set up the target systems in which and the roles and authorization defaults will be distributed from your source system and then you also have to register your roles that will be distributed okay so in the target system there are two things you need basically okay so one you need the target system and then you also need the RFC destinations so from your source system to the target system you need to have the RFC destinations defined okay so let's do that so let's set up the just uh, register the target systems now so click on display change okay so this target system field that you see here is basically a free form field but if you want to use uh, a particular uh, naming convention or a you know a logical system for uh, your target system you could define those logical systems in BD64 okay or you can go to the transaction SALD so if you go to BD64 sorry 54 you can define your logical systems here okay 
So those are the logical systems you show that show up in this list. Okay. So you can pick your logical system. You can create a logical system and use it, or based or you can just simply uh, use. A free text, okay, uh, to define your or specify the target system. But the main part is your RFC destination, okay. So let's say I want to use the target system TRS CLNT hundred, and the RFC destination would also in our you need to pick up the RFC destination to for the TRS client. Okay, and hit the enter key. Okay, like I said, this is target system. Keep in mind, is a free text. You are not forced to use the values from this drop-down field. Okay, all right. So once you do that, okay, to get the details of the system, the target system, what you could do is you need to you could click on system details. Okay, so check the connection now. So when you click on the system details, the name of the SAP system, the client, okay, and the basis support pack level are read from your target system, which is our TRS client hundred, which is the system. Okay. You do, you know. So that was do that, and then it also activates. Okay, so if you click on this, activates the target system for distribution distribution automatically. Okay, so if you don't do, so you can click on system details. You can manually check this box also. Okay, so when you do this, the you know the role and the transport connection of the client are. Transferred from transaction SCC four uh, of the tar target system. Okay, and like I said, you know this active uh, indicator is automatically set for uh, distribution when you do the when you click on the uh, system details. Okay, read system details, and in in an inactive. Uh, you know system will not be uh, proposed for distribution okay so if this read system details uh, check function is successful then only you get this active uh, uh, ready button set automatically so another thing that you have is su24 okay to click on this better you need to select you need to have the systems configured here okay uh, system entries in this list okay so when you click on this so what happens is the authorization defaults can be uploaded into the system the client into the target system okay so if you want to distribute the authorization default so then you use this su224 import uh, function for the uh, selected uh, relevant client okay and it is a prerequisite that the system details are read uh, with the sap system uh, and the client okay and if you want to see if the client and the system exist or not right you can click on consistency button also so if you click on consistency you will if there are any problems there are issues you will get some error messages here okay now you can also you know classify the user um responsible and 
there are some five freely definable system attributes okay so you can specify let's say the user id which is responsible or user responsible let's say um, admin okay all right so once the systems are registered right so you can register whatever systems you which you know in whichever systems you want to distribute the roles you can go and define uh, you know the list of systems here okay so if i want to let's say send something into a send a role from client 100 in this system to client 150 Okay, you can do the same here. So provided you have the RFC destinations defined also. Okay, so we don't have one. So, okay, so let's remove this. Okay, so you can define the list of systems where in which you want to distribute the roles and the authorization defaults okay so after you have defined your you know registered your systems now you have to go and register your roles that you want to distribute so each role that you want to distribute has to be registered in this uh, here okay so because you, know, you need to do this to protect against unintentional or unwanted uh, distribution so in our example here we are going to distribute a role called x colon su01 okay so we enter all the roles that you would you know like you want to distribute okay and if you want to add more roles uh, you know you can click on add insert roles and all that if you want to delete you can delete a role so if you want to now when you want to let you know distribute uh, the composite roles right composite roles when when distributing a composite role it is not always necessary to distribute the uh, the contained uh, single rows like single rows that are part of uh, the composite roles okay so if you want to register the single rows of composite roles you can do this uh, by you know click on this button okay composite role resolution button okay and in case of derived roles okay when uh, all the important uh, roles also must uh, you know must also be uh, distributed and if any of the you know imparting roles are missing they are added automatically and to delete indicator right this checkbox this indicator you can set this indicator if you want to delete roles in the target system okay all right so we are going to do this we are going to distribute su01 x colon x x u01 from our s4h client 100 into trs client 100 okay all right so once you have done this click on uh, save okay so data is saved and now you can go and and before we do that let's go to pfcg in trs and see if the role exists here okay it does okay so let's do this let's delete this role okay so which means this role now does not exist here right okay so let's see what do we how do we distribute this right so so when you distribute the role see what it does is the system does this it down 
uses the download and upload functions from PFC GNSU24 to you know distribute the role and the authorization defaults right but this program also generates the profiles and does the user comparison in the target system okay so we'll see, see that now so what is the role that you want to distribute x colon su01 right and then you can have a list of roles that you want to distribute okay but provided you have registered those roles in the configuration section okay and then you can also list the systems and target systems in which you want to distribute the role or roles okay so in our case we want to distribute it to let's say this client right this is the only system that is registered right so you here you get the list of uh, systems that you have registered in the configuration section okay let's select that and then click on execute so when you click on execute see here you can see the distribution log okay the details and all so click on execute select okay and then say execute so action performed and uh, it says hello right so click on update and the distribution status is successful okay now let's go to TRS client 100 and check take a look at the role go to so PFCG and you see the role is now available for you and if you check the profiles the profile is also generated okay so it brings the profile along with the role right so it's like a normal transport that you're doing using a C9 S10 right in case of you know if you're download manually downloading the role and then uploading the role you'll have to in the target system if it's a new role you'll have to generate the profile you have to create a profile in the target system but in this case uh, in this program this transaction code pfcg role dist brings the profile also along with it along with the role and the authorization data okay so this is how you know you can uh, use so if you say click on display log right for example let's say so you'll see the log for the roles so upload successfully profile is generated user master record has been uh, synchronized right this uh, sync is done and if you look at uh, let's see what happens when you look at details okay more information exists all right and here the status will show the last time this distribution was executed and what okay and the time and the date also if you want to read the documentation about this tool you know what are the other details that you want to you know that this that this has like you know what are the system attributes okay what is the significance of user responsible or uh, parallel processing you can read this program documentation that you have here okay so this has a good uh, information this documentation has a lot of information that are that is useful including the authorization objects needed uh, for this particular uh, transaction code which is pfcg role dist okay so at the bottom you know of the documentation you'll have the authorizations needed for this particular transaction okay tabu dis and tabu nam with these table names and then also you have the example role here okay that contains this authorizations so you can read this documentation to understand this to how to use this uh, particular program this particular transaction code more uh, effectively